Bedford North Lawrence, 12 and 6 and 4 and 1 in the Hoosier Hills Conference, will return to league action on Saturday afternoon when the Stars host Floyd Central, which is 7 and 11 overall and 1 and 4 in the league. BNL has conquered Floyd Central seven straight times. On top, Michigan. You guys have two HAC games left. Yeah. Obviously, right in the middle of it. But are you a little bit leery of having someone else be in control of your destiny, meaning someone has to be seen? Yes. What's that like to sit and have to worry about that? It's it's nerve wracking, but there's nothing you can really do about it. So we just gotta play to the best of our ability and hope for the best. BNL still trails league leader Seymour, which is 5-0, and but the Stars have won six out of their last seven games. I think we've actually started, like we understand what all of our roles are now. We, can, we know what we need to do, and we're doing it. How does it feel now compared to the first part of the year when, you, when you're struggling a little bit? Oh, we were all nervous, didn't know what to do. Uh, I think we put it more on other sh other people's shoulders, like, here's the ball, go do something with it, other than we need to do it upon ourselves. Very important uh, for a couple of reasons. I mean, first of all, it's two conference games coming up with Floyd and East, and uh, you know, every conference game is important to us. Um, the, the trouble with playing conference teams is they know you so well. I think if you come out flat or you overlook somebody because they're 500, I think it's very dangerous because uh, you know they, they know your tendencies and, and they're you know they're not afraid afraid to compete against you. Be so I think you put yourself in a really bad position if you don't come out prepared. You're in the conference race, but one thing is out of your control, and that's if Seymour will lose or not. Is it troubling to have to sit and rely on someone else to do that for you? No, you, I, you know I mean. We, we put ourselves in the position we're in. I mean, you know, we went over to Seymour and, and they played well and we didn't. I mean, so we're in that position. And all we can do is control what we can do. I mean, we can still continue to play well and put pressure on them to, to win those games. If they ultimately do, uh, you know, then they've done their job and we've done ours. But I'm not going to worry about, uh, you know, if, if they can handle those, uh, those two tough games they've got. I, I'm going to worry about what my kids do. What about Fluid Central? Um, you know, that, that that team always plays really hard and really physical. And for me, <clears throat> I know they, you know, they, they haven't had the success this year that Kirk uh, is probably used to, but that's a problem for us because uh, teams that really get physical and get into us sometimes, and they can cause us problems. So uh, we're definitely going to be prepared for them. Um, I think, uh, you know, the big girl Roth in the middle can cause everybody some problem once in a while. Um, and again, it's a conference game. I, I think if you don't come out prepared against a conference opponent, uh, opponent that you're you're putting yourself in a position to be a, to be in trouble. BNL will finish the HAC play and its nine-game homestand when it hosts Columbus East on Tuesday.